What's up guys, I'm BTC, we just got a Hanzo rework, we're about to get the Symmetra rework, and then Torbjorn is supposed to come up after that. So that brings up the question, are we going to see the end of all troll pick heroes? I started thinking about this topic the other day when I was looking at some of the comments on my other videos and people were asking me about the Symmetra rework. Is it going to fix her issues? Is she no longer going to be niche? Is it going to be viable in most cases? And I think that, yes, this is going to make the character stronger and more viable, but you can't really look at it like she's getting fixed because they're completely changing the character. There are a few things that are going to kind of remain constant from the old version to the new version, like the name, the way she looks, and the fact that she has little mini sentries and stuff like that. But almost everything else about the character is getting changed. This is the most extensive rework of any character. And I'm not going to go over all that stuff because I've already talked about it in previous videos, so you can go and check that out. The short version is that, yes, I think this is going to make the character stronger and more viable, but I need to actually see and play the new stuff in order to kind of make a final decision on it all. But is this going to stop people from viewing Symmetra as a troll pick character? So quick definition, I guess, for a troll pick is a character that has very limited use. It's usually niche or significantly underpowered or objectively weaker than other characters in the similar role. So these are going to be things like Torbjorn, Symmetra, Mei, Bastion, and for a time, Junkrat and Hanzo, but that has changed and that's kind of why I'm talking about this topic in this video. Those characters are also the favorites of people who are trying to throw a match. They'll pick one of those characters and it's almost kind of like a dead giveaway that, okay, this person has now decided that they're going to throw the match and cause their team to lose. Now, it doesn't mean that it's only used by throwers and trolls because there are people who legitimately use these characters and try their best with them. And I'm not even just talking about one tricks either, just people who will switch to it because they think, oh, hey, maybe this character will work in this situation. But there's still a lingering perception that those characters are troll picks, at least for some of them. Because Junkrat, for a very long time, was considered a troll pick character. It was the go-to thing for people who were trying to throw the match. And then they buffed Junkrat a couple times. And now Junkrat is a fairly strong character. He's not nearly as overpowered as some people would like to say he is, but he's very viable in most situations. The same thing for Hanzo. Hanzo was one of the worst DPS characters in the entire game up until just recently. And now that they've changed it and they have the rework for Hanzo, he is now suddenly the best DPS in the entire game, for mid to long range anyways. So those characters, Junkrat and Hanzo, are no longer considered troll picks. So I'm wondering if this change for Symmetra is also going to do the same thing for her. And then of course after that we have the rework for Torbjorn. So we might be left with only, what, Mei and Bastion that are considered troll picks after that point. And it seems that all of those problems can be traced back to a glaring flaw in Blizzard's design philosophy on the character balance where in the past they have said it's okay for characters to have incredibly low pick rates. It's okay for characters to be incredibly niche and only useful in a small number of situations. They didn't have a problem with that, but as it turns out, that's really bad game design because then it causes a lot of problems. When you have a character in the game that's just not useful in the overwhelming majority of the situation, it's going to make it look like that character is just basically there for people to troll and to throw with. And even if it does get used and is useful, effective, in some small number of situations, why bother having a character in the game when you can only use it one out of a hundred games? It just doesn't make any sense. But now it seems like they've reversed that policy, and now they want characters to be viable in most situations. You're never going to have all the characters viable in every single situation. It's just not going to happen. But again, if you can have all of them be viable in most, I think that's pretty good. One unfortunate problem with the Symmetra rework, though, is it comes in the height of the Zarya Hanzo meta, 
where that is pretty much dominating most everything right now. So it doesn't really matter how good of a rework Symmetra gets. It might not be usable for the simple fact that Hanzo Zarya is just too good right now. And there's no reason to use another DPS when you can just use Hanzo. Which is kind of ironic given that up until just recently, Hanzo was also considered a troll pick. Another really big factor is Hero 28. We don't know anything about it yet, so that could cause a huge disruption in the current meta. We just don't know. So what do you guys think? Are some of these characters going to be permanently considered troll picks? Is the perception that they are bad no matter what always going to be there? Or do you think it's going to be more like Junkrat and Hanzo, where they were once considered troll picks and now they're considered some of the strongest characters in the game? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.